Hey guys, what's up? It's Bigfoots here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I day traded from $7,000 to $70,000 in just nine short months. Now, this is a very basic method, and I think for an entry level person in crypto, I think this will be uh, very easy to understand. That's kind of what I'm going for in this guide. Obviously, there's a lot more advanced, like, you know, chart studying and like analytic stuff. Um, I'm not really going to touch that in this video. What I'm going to show you guys is how I basically just looked at a basic graph and could determine uh, when to snag lows and sell highs. Uh, we're going to be talking about short, mid and long term trades and just overall kind of uh, basic advice uh, for for what's going on here. Thank you guys for all the support on the first video, guys. I think we have like 200 something subscribers. I need to get a thousand uh so if if you guys want to be one of the first a thousand subs of this channel uh i would really appreciate if you just click the sub click the like i mean it, it's that easy it just spreads thing around it just spreads things around um and as you guys may or may not know there's two links in the description right now the only two links listen i got a free discord where i do my trading advice for people who sign up with my binance code right now it's completely free all you have to do is sign up sign up on binance us use my referral code um, all that does is give me a small percentage of your fees you can get into the trading group you can and see the trades that i've been doing myself and you can ask questions you know it overall it's really awesome uh if you don't want to actually join the group if you just want to join the discord that's free too i think we have over 200 members there already and uh well it's pretty you know you can go in there you can ask questions a lot of people's been talking about coins and honestly i like the way the community is building so thank you guys for that but go to the two links in the description sign up for both join both and uh yeah with all that out of the way let's just jump into it so the first thing i want to do in this video which i haven't really done before but i want to kind of start doing is i want to go over kind of the market overview now as you guys know uh crypto or basically every coin had a pretty big dip if you click on like bitcoin for example let's go to the week uh bitcoin overall was you know holding 35 36k we had this dip down we actually went under 30k uh, on, on the low and then we've kind of just held around this $30,000 market range um, Now a lot of coins follow this exact path uh, most coins as you guys know kind of just follow Bitcoin uh, If Bitcoin's going up others will go up if Bitcoin's going down others will go down It's kind of weird how that happens I think that eventually that will break out of that but besides the fact it seems like we've kind of gotten to where I like to be which is a steady market it seems like Bitcoin you know is going rapidly between 30 to 33 thousand dollars and uh that's perfect for what this video is for what i'm talking about in this video um you know a lot of these other coins are doing kind of the same type of style if you look at let's say ada cardano uh let's go to the week as you can see a very balanced graph as well this is what you're looking for um in the video that i'm talking about in the video that we're talking about today you're looking for very balanced graphs uh so when you study it and look at the uh the charts it, it, it all makes sense you're gonna be able to see how this works uh chain link not a very great example because link's actually kind of sending it uh but overall a lot of the markets like i said are kind of following this we're stuck in this area pattern which means it's going to break out it's going to break out high or it's going to break out low you know that's to be determined most people are saying that it's going to break out high I, I i don't know man i don't really want to like sit here and sell like big dreams in this video because that's not what this video is about i'm not telling you what coin to buy and hold on forever i'm telling you buy this coin here and sell it here in the same day and make a cool you know 10 percent profit um so let me show you guys kind of the trades that i've done so let's head over to binance this is the the website that i say you should trade on it has the lowest fee like I think the fee is like 0.1%. So, you know, if you, if you do a trade of a thousand dollars, I think it only, I think it's a dollar the fee, which is way better than any other site you could trade on. Uh, so let's go over to, um, let's go to BNB. Now the first rule to this is you want to do this in coins that you trust that you have like a high, you know, a pity dub. You don't think these coins are going anywhere. Uh, they're going to be around for a while. And what I would do is I would favorite them coins. Now, I haven't done a good job of that, uh, but coins that I regularly would be involved in. I've flipped a lot of BNB. I've flipped a lot of BTC. I've flipped a good amount of ADA. Um, these coins, I mean, I, I like Adam. I like Bat. I don't really know much about these. I don't like Bitcoin Cash, but basically you want to go through. Uh, Dog is a good one. Um, Ethereum, obviously. Uh, what else do we got here? LTC ain't bad. Link is good. And I've been doing one a lot lately. One's been pretty solid. Um, and where's the last one? Uh, Vet, VTHO. I've had a lot of success in the market. So you just want to kind of find, you know, a, a good two, three, four, five, you know, 
markets that you're comfortable trading in and you want to find ones like i said that are very steady so here on binance you can use these charts as well uh let's go to like uh let's go to bnb um, let's go to like a 30 minute chart. So if you go over to BNB on the 30 day chart, as you'll see the low in the last day is around 39.5. The high is 42.3. If you add that into a calculator, let's say you would have bought at the 39.5, right? Let's say you bought, so you bought, uh, this is just a big example. Let's do a small example, 10 coins, uh, you know, at 39.5. That means you would have spent $395 and then let's say, what was the high? 42.3, um, let's say 10 times 42.3 equals. So that would have netted you a roughly $30 profit right there. A $28 profit on a, you know, $395 investment that would have took you if you would have gotten at them prices less than 24 hours. That's really good. I mean, a lot of people invest in things that give them 5% per year. So that's really good. You want to find markets that you have opportunity like that. Let's hop over to a new one. Let's hop over to Doge. As you'll see here, we have 0.83 or 0 0.083 to 0 0.089. So once again, let's hop into the calculator. Um, let's do uh let's say we buy fifty thousand of these uh no that's not enough let's buy like two hundred thousand times 0 0.0083 so you would have bought in for sixteen hundred dollars and then if you sold for 0 0.089 let's go ahead and do that You would have turned $1,600 in 1660 into 1780, netting you a $120 profit, which would have took in, according to this car chart, um, roughly 24 hours to complete. Um, so you could do a lot of swings like this. You can do bigger ones that take a little bit longer. You could do smaller ones that don't take as long. Um, like I said, just find markets of coins that are solid coins. You don't want to get into coins that aren't really good. Um, so see, this is a big swing here with ETH. And if you look at like the one day chart, um, ETH is obviously up a lot, but you know, the ETH is like a good market, right? It would be hard to predict, uh, an exact good flip here. Um, because the market has been going kind of crazy with ETH, but obviously if you buy in around 1200s, I mean, you can look just at the the 24 hour low, the 24 hour high and know that like, okay, if I buy in close to this 24 hour low on a coin like ETH, it's obviously going up. Uh, it, it's not a bad idea. So the way I would do this and the way I would go about doing like a buy order and the way I've done this, you know, a million times in the past, um, as you can see, I don't really have any USD in my account, so I can't really actually do it for the video, but cause I'm in the middle of a bunch of trades. But let's say you were going into BNB, you see the 24 hour low is at $40, the high is at 42. So you're like, okay, that's not a bad trade. You would go here to the price. You would find a price point that in the last, you know, maybe the three minute chart, it's not a terrible price point. So as you can see, we were down to 41.093, which is close to the low. So I would maybe put in an offer for like 40 points, uh, I don't know, like seven, five or something like that. Uh, buy however many BNB you want and just click buy. It's going to basically set there in your orders <coughs> until that trade goes through. And if you download the mobile app, you can set up notifications. Uh, but once that goes through, then obviously you just go over here, you come back, you look at the high, you look at what you bought it at, and then you would sell for, you know, a profit. Now you can profit anywhere between three to like 10% on these trades. That's normally the goal of what I go through. If you do 3% trades, you can do a ton of them in one day. Um, if you're doing bigger, like going for like 10% trades, sometimes it might take like a week to do. Um, and you know, that's fine too. It just depends on what you want to do, man. I've noticed with a lot of this, it's kind of just studying the market and seeing what markets work, work best for me, the price points and stuff like that. A lot of these, man, you'll find that like, okay, this price points like sells, like you could find really, really steady coins and like, it'll take a minute, but you can buy it all the time at this price and you can sell it all the time at this price. And that's kind of how I do day trading. I mean, like I said, I just invest in coins that I don't feel like I'm going to take a huge loss on. Um, and you know, it's just, it's just things that you study the graph and cause you're not looking to hold this for more than like a day or two. You're kind of trying to get rid of it. Uh, one thing I do advise and will advise though, is it, the only way this can really go bad is if the coin you buy say drops a lot. 
I would kind of keep a tight knit like like closure on when you're going to get rid of it. So let's say that you go in at BNB at $40. Like I was just showing you guys, uh, you want to have set in your head like, okay, if BNB drops to like 38 bucks, I'm just going to sell it. It's kind of like a stop loss because the thing is one, if you're doing trades like this, obviously the longer you're waiting to do trades, let's say you're only trying to do like a 5% trade on BNB. If it drops down to 38, you're going to be waiting for a while for it to get back to 42, uh, where you could just sell that. And in case that coin is dropping significantly, you won't take any more loss than that. And then just put your money into a newer flip at, you know, basically instantly. Um, just keep your buddy moving. That's kind of the thing with this. It's really important. So over the last month, I've managed to trade over $200,000 doing pretty similar to this method. Now I have a little bit more advanced tactics with how I kind of look at graphs and study graphs and try to, you know, predict which way the price is going to go. But overall, I mean, I'm telling you doing this exactly what I just showed you. I've made a very hefty chunk of money off of and I still continue to do it. There's a lot of times I'll go in on a day trade like that and I won't study the graph any more than just checking on Binance real quick and like, oh, this is how it's been in the last day. You know, I've been looking at this coin for like a week. I haven't really seen it go way up or way down. I think it's steady here. I'll go in around the 24 hour low and I'll sell around the 24 hour high. That's kind of how I do it, man. And it seems to work for me. Um, there's obviously a lot of like trial and error here. There's sometimes you're going to do some mistakes. Sometimes you're going to mess up. So I, I advise to just kind of get out there and do it. Start with something small, um, you know, put in $50, put in $100 and you know maybe do a couple of different trades me myself i like to have like four to five to six different trades of these going on at once that's why i said i have like five or six markets that i'm comfortable doing it in um you know i'll just put the offer in i'll put the notification on my phone i'll step away you know it'll notify me your buy for uh doge just went through at whatever price i'll be like cool i'll load up the app i'll put in the sell price and then you know i'll go on about my way again uh that way you know if you have six different markets going up and down you can take advantage of buying at lows and selling at highs um, so this is kind of just my quick little video about day trading uh, and how I kind of got into it, how I kind of did it. Uh, obviously, this is very basic. I wanted to keep this very basic so you guys can just kind of get used to the platform, um, you know, how the crypto space works and like how this all goes down. I do want to later start going over graphs and how to study graphs and things of that nature. This should get a lot of your guys' like skin in the game. Um, you guys can start understanding how this goes. And I've already had people in the Discord who have been doing similar to this. Uh, like I had a guy who's turned $300 into three. 50 within a week um and overall i mean making 50 dollars off 300 bucks in like a week that's that's really solid if you ask me so thank you guys for watching the video man if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like subscribe to the channel and uh thanks for all the support on the first video man i'm excited to get these crypto videos up i'm excited to be you know uploading and kind of going over things with you guys i think the next video i make is going to be about altcoin and kind of my medium to long-term holds uh, I just kind of want to get you guys out there with where I'm at with everything crypto. So I appreciate the support. Um, I want to note one last thing because I had this comment. Someone was like, oh, you can tell this guy's down bad because of his house. Uh, so I recently just moved out of my brand new house. I I'm beginning to Airbnb it. Um, and for the time being, I am staying with my parents. I'm going to be moving out of here very soon. Uh, but I just want to stay locally really close to my home. So, you know, if everything... If there's any problems with the Airbnb or anything of that nature, I'll be there to make sure the guests are taken care of or whatever that case may be. So, I mean, like I said, this channel is not only going to be about crypto, it's going to be about investments overall. I probably will have some updates on my Airbnb uh, after things start going. I'm actually listing it today, so wish me luck on that. Uh, but yeah, like I'm, I'm doing fine in life. You guys seen the video I made yesterday, like right there's a louis bag that was like i don't know how much that cost but uh, trust me i'm fine i'm just temporarily staying with my parents to make sure that my other investment uh starts off you know on the right feet and then from there uh you know we'll, we'll i'm gonna move somewhere i'm gonna do some other investments on some properties and and i'll bring you guys along the way but thank you guys for watching man i really do appreciate it and uh, i'll see you guys later in the next video peace